What up, everybody? This is Jason Lee, and this is Hollywood Unlocked Uncensored. And I'm Melissa Ford, <laughs> a.k.a. The Curve Queen. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Giovanni. Hold up. It took us a while to get started today because our transgender breast-grabbing board guy. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking... set him up for that. Hey, listen, I set up most straight guys to get their first experience. I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think it's great for the culture. Mm. No amigos. <laughs> mm. I think more. I think more men... I think, first of all, I think more women should become secure in their relationships by encouraging their men to fuck around with a guy. Yeah, you are fucking what? tripping. What? You are motherfucking tripping. Why? We got enough to fucking worry about of our man stepping out with another bitch. <laughs> all right? I don't need to worry about that, too. Yeah, I'm but, sorry. But no. You need to be confident before you get married that he don't want dick from time to time because by your third anniversary, he could be asking to get, you know. Yo, this word is coming to an end. Yeah. I can't believe you said that. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I am a product of sexual exploration, and I am pro sexual fluidity. Well, how and about you that explore some vaginas? Sometimes I've already done that, but do that's it from like time saying, to that's time. That's like saying go to London. I've already been there a couple of times. I don't need to keep going back to see Big Ben. Well, you only been <laughs> <laughs> Nick. I know a Big Ben. I know where the I know where the castle is. So I know you just told pretty much you said it's okay for a man should explore I am, another man I am from saying, time to time. You should explore some pussy from I am time say, to time. Listen, you're asking me to. So you've done it a few times now, so I'm gonna just say this. I think you should suck a dick once. <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I see. I know how. I don't get uncomfortable when y'all tell me to go get pussy. That's like saying go find Subway. It's right around the corner if you make two left. <laughs> I've been there, done that. You know what I'm saying? Oh like I can say I have done almost everything. Yeah. Listen, I'm gonna leave this world without having done a few things, mm. and I'm really okay with it. Yeah, but if really you ate it, okay, but if you ate pussy, it will never care. happen. If you, will never happen. If you will never happen. I get it. I get it. I mm. get it. If you ate pussy, mm. nobody would care. I'm sure they wouldn't. Not, yeah, not they wouldn't. But if care he for sucked a dick, everybody would. It would be the end of the world. Very. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Be Why? Like, because what? I don't know. I don't know. Because all his homeboys who are sucking dick after the club are telling him not to. <laughs> Not him oh personally. I'm just saying there are so many men out here that are giving advice to other men on how they shouldn't suck. And if I ever found out one of my closest homeboys was out here sucking late night dick, I don't know what I'd do. No. Would you stop being his friend? <laughs> no, nah, I have to put him on ice for a few months. No, because Why? he got other friends that suck dick, but he just knows. But they I suck know dick. they suck dick, so it's okay. I got gay friends, but I'm saying if one of my A ones, my cold, my niggas, we what had, does it matter? If I yeah. found out my nigga was low key late night sucking dick. After we talking about bitches all day, I'm gonna be hot. Maybe Why? The, may, sometimes you feel like a nut, nigga. Sometimes you, you don't. don't. <laughs> so I'm just I'm Cheerios. Just, I'm just trying to That's understand. That's gonna be the new code what, word for sucking dick. What is Cheerios. the difference when Did you, you have some Cheerios today? That's funny. Yeah. What Never. is the difference when you find out one of your friends wants to explore his sexuality? Why is it a problem? I mean, I'm not gonna judge him. I'm gonna love him regardless. But I'm just saying, like, it's different if he come to me and say, "Yo, bro, I've been feeling these ways. I've been attracted to men lately. All right, let's talk about it." Opposed to me find out fucking Craig from 37th and Fillmore and now he's sucking dick his whole life and telling me otherwise. See, and this is what's different. This is the problem with our community, mm. our, our, the black folks mm. listening, saying, oh, here he goes with this bullshit. This is the, this is the episode <laughs> where I get attacked. <laughs> Timmy, <laughs> Jacob, and Larry, mm. they're all fine with it. They're in the cabin, out in the dark. I'm assuming oh, that these gosh. are white boys. Yes, with their girlfriends. Right. With Susie. Yeah. Alice. Yeah. And Rebecca. Rebecca. And Rebecca. Yeah. They're all fine in their way. They're at the campground. Somebody yeah. pulled out the s'mores. Niggas is eating s'mores. Yeah. And then all of a sudden. A I circle know, jerk starts. A circle jerk. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's fun. laughing. Now we're playing Jenga. <laughs> yeah. This is white people. White people get away with that type of shit. Black people. Oh, my God. Don't let a little dick fall in your mouth. And then all of a sudden it's a problem. Yeah. I just am a proponent for sexual exploration. Everybody listening around their friends right now is saying this nigga crazy and everybody listening by themselves is thinking about it. Mm. First um. of all, you won't be up here campaigning for dick. You up here doing this saying shit, the, the Barack finger campaigning for dick. I'm not campaigning for anybody to do anything but explore their sexual I've explored lives. my sexuality with bitches. Nah. Women. <laughs> Excuse no, me, I, women. I think Sorry. I think when you when you Sorry, when, when you cock your legs up and let somebody lick first your ass. First of all, I don't cock my no. legs up. Well, <laughs> when you get your salad eaten, yes, when you I, do. When I'm getting the fellatio you activity, you toot your motherfucking ass up in the I'm air when you get your salad eaten. From my Stop ex it, or my, uh, you know, when you ex, bend over and let I, somebody put their face in your ass. I asshole. do not bend over. I'm on my back, legs are like slightly at a thirty degree angle, <laughs> getting regular <laughs> head, and they start just licking my ass. I like it, but I don't cock my shit back like I'm having a baby. 
it. And what I'm telling you <laughs> is that that is the beginning. That is the precipice. This is not marijuana. It's not a great <laughs> gateway. <laughs> That's <laughs> not a gateway to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that is the precipice to smell it. Uh, penetration. Mm. Let me tell you something. My ex, when she used to eat my ass, she used to push that tongue in there. No, she one day she tried to put a finger in it. I slapped her in the goddamn face so fast. Why? The same reason why you want a nigga going your ass. So, no, no, okay. no. Actually, it's very different. Your asshole and my asshole are two very different things. You guys have a <laughs> lot of nerve endings. Your prostate is up there, so you know that's your G spot. Nobody ever found your prostate, Gio. Yeah, they my physician. It. Okay, so you would never let your girl do any type of anal play. You've said that before, Fuck no, right? No. Okay, so when they're sticking their tongue in your ass, are they just licking it like a kitty, or is they sticking no. their? Are they thrusting? Licking it? <laughs> no, you know that's if you, you try to put your tongue in my ass. That's a form of minute penetration. So it's just lick, lick, lick. <laughs> okay, <laughs> ladies. My point is, I think you should allow your man one hall pass with his homeboy Daryl. Never. Okay. Well, never. whatever. It never. <laughs> Never, never. I'm sorry. I, and I do ask the questions. I have to. No, you don't. What? So you ask your current boyfriend if he's ever messed with a guy? Fuck yeah. Yeah, you got to ask these Well, no, no, no. Yeah, I, no, no, no. That, that's, you don't start there. How do you do it? You start with... Why does Jamal keep coming around? No. No, 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 no. You start with you know, sexual, sexual, like, you know, interest and proclivities. Like, so what do you like? So what is a proclivity? Like, what the fuck? And it, it, like you, things you fucking like, you know what I'm saying? Things okay. you tend to do. And so I was like, sucking you know, dick, pretty much. well, I just wanted to know, like if he had, you know, if he, if anybody had ever had contact with his asshole before, mm. you know, they looked at me like he was going to choke you the fuck out. Yeah. He was like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, okay, that's all I needed to know. Okay, let me give you let me give you the three signs that your man has sucked a dick. <laughs> okay? This is only minute five. Sign number one. What? He plays a tremendous amount of basketball and stays over at his friend's house because it's too late to come home. What kind of late night session? What if he plays basketball for a living? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's a little different. He's okay. A, if he's in the NBA. Okay, checking. Just okay. checking. Just checking. However... If he has yeah. away games and it ain't on the schedule, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sign number two. Mm. Your man tells you that, that he's open-minded, but it ain't for him. He's lying. That was his way of testing you to see if you would have a problem with it mm -hmm. if he really was to do it. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're secure in your shit and you say, baby, I wouldn't care if a nigga oh, fucked you once gosh. in a while, that nigga's going to reveal some shit to you. It's going to start in the form of molest. Because oh, oh. he's going to say, I've been molested. That's yeah. his way of seeing, okay, how you respond to that. Okay. Remember Tyler Perry did that whole special Oprah where all the men stood in the audience talking about they were all child molesters? Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean uh, victims of child molest? Yeah. Do you believe that that was Tyler's only story to tell that day? <laughs> uh, you are so fucking I did wrong. not. not I, I, act, I actually you, did you, not. Okay, you're I trying to get a that. Tyler Perry movie. Yeah, anyway, I'm supposed to say that. I'm not about to be a part of this. <laughs> Number three. And the third and final sign is while you're having sex with your man, right? Yeah, uh -huh. And he's on top of you and he's as manly as he's ever been mm -hmm. and he has given you the best sex of your life. Mm hmm. Just put your arm around his neck and lick your finger, slide down and touch his asshole and see what he does. And if he doesn't move or if he, because I'm going to tell you, I had somebody at my house the mm. other day. <laughs> Never mind, I'm going to move on. Just do that and see how he reacts. <laughs> if he toot that motherfucker like a choo-choo drain, Look, that nigga's good. I don't even like when my girl grab my ass when I'm fucking her. I don't even like that. You're such a fucking liar. I don't like when my girl. You're I'm the, such a liar. No, listen, if I'm at the crib and my girl come up and smack You're me in my ass, or something, I don't even like that. So when I'm when I'm having sex with her, if she grab my ass while I'm fucking, I hate that. You're shit. such a fucking liar. So the other day, Sydney Star was here, and you could not stop looking at her breast. That's true. I looked it's, at them titties a few times, but I was it staring at them. I, I mean, there was some titties in mm, my face. They were so, some so, titties. No, that was man boobs. Them was titties. Those weren't but, man boobs. But that was a man. But look, she was doing this shit, Harlem shaking with her titties the whole damn interview. And you couldn't stop looking at her. I was looking at her face. So if one, so you wouldn't have sucked those titties? Hell no. Why? I don't want them manufactured tits. Okay, but you, you ain't never messed with a girl with fake titties? <laughs> yes, but it's different. She had a clitoris. How do you know she didn't have one? I know he didn't. She didn't. She How didn't. do you know she didn't even say? I don't want to find out because she said there was. She thought there was chemistry between both of you. You a goddamn line and a half. I tell you that goddamn much. <laughs> so you ain't never tried to get a Sydney. Never. So do you think having? I sex told you before. I knew it was a shit of him. I used to look at the female, the woman twerking on the world star, and I was like, damn, this thick ass bitch. But were you like masturbating to Woman's it, like saying I would fuck this? I'm not gonna lie. I did masturbate one time. Okay. 
And then I found, I mean, I'm a real nigga. And then I found out it was a female, and then I, my whole world came crumbling down. You know why I like you, Gio? Because the fact that you have the courage to come on the show and say that you jacked off to Sydney Star and be as I manly. I didn't know at the time. But what were you thinking? Like, were you like, I'm going to give her this dick? Is she going to get this work? Or was it just like, I got to rub one off real quick before work? It was just my normal daily jack off routine. Damn, what a confession. Mm. No usher. Okay, Look, so. I'm a real person, man. You're like, I have no, I'm one of the most. Heterosexual manliest men in the world, and mm. I can sit up and say I've jacked off. Manly, I don't know about that. But go to hell. Sexual, okay. I did not know that was a man. <laughs> so have you? The, ever, the average man wouldn't even know it was a man. No, I would have known. I Jason agree. fucking Lee. Uh, first of all, we both said we all sat up and said she. Before, I had no idea. Yeah, even at the Wait, slut walk. At the slut walk, when she walked, we all by, didn't say that. You said that. I've known true. who Sydney Star. Well, I, I didn't know. No, okay. I had no idea. I knew the name. I had never seen the visual. And so when she walked by, I was like, oh, that's a thick girl right there. And you're like, that's Sydney Star. I was like, get I didn't the fuck know it was out of here. I remember one time I was at the Abbey with my homeboys, right? So I, I usually take my straight friends to the Abbey because they don't care. They just like to You want to christen them, I know. No, no, no. This some of my real straight friends. I just take them to the, the Abbey. The Abbey's fun. Because it's just fun. So I get in there and my boy, he's a little uncomfortable. So he's like, yeah, I'm about to get one of these bitches. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Get you know, oh, the girls you in asshole. here. No, because on Friday nights, a lot of straight girls go with their gay friends. So if you're straight mm. and you want to get a girl, mm. the ratio is pretty good for you at the Abbey. Ratio is amazing. So he's in there. He finds this little Asian girl and he's all over her. Not kissing, but just like hugging. And, you know, they get into it because, you know, we had a couple cocktails. Oh, shit. So I walked up to him. I said, bro, just, you know, you know, I'm your boy. That's the dude. Nah, nah. You always hate me because you want me. You know you want me. You want me, so you always cock blocking bitches. I said, listen, my man, this ain't about wanting you. I'm telling you, that's a man. No, it ain't. See, y'all see how he want. I know you want the. Okay, cool. Go ahead then with uh, Charlie. No. <laughs> Go ahead with this nigga. So they keep talking. They keep talking. Finally, I go. I said, excuse me, sir. Tell him that you a man. <laughs> And so the little Asian boy turned around and says, I am a man. I said, see? Oh, no, I'm a, I said, you gay. Mm. <laughs> he felt some So I'm gay. Not, did, unbeknownst to me, you I jacked, didn't know that was You man. jacked off. Let me just do a recap for the audience. Mm. Oh, gosh. You, you masturbated, wanted to give Sydney Star I didn't say that. work. And then you were looking at her titties the whole interview. I don't know. You should do some soul, search, soul searching. But either way, like I said earlier, I think you should get a pass. If you and Sydney hooked up that night, Jason, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't judge you. I, first of all, I glanced at them tits. I wasn't like... No, you I wasn't looking the way I was looking at Miss Nikki baby's titties. I was all in them bosoms. But they were fake too. That's different. That's a woman. Oh. I can take some fake But if you never touched the dick, did you really fuck a man? Dang, that's crazy. <laughs> anyway, those are the things that my mind wants to know. So, Melissa, what have you been doing this week? I haven't talked to you or seen you. I know. I, you, well, I mean, like, you're super busy now and you, like, you're employed and shit. <laughs> I got a Congratulations. Job. You got a man. real job. Thank Congratulations. You. I see you made that announcement. I did. Mm -hmm. Felt good, you know, to just go out there. This is one of the first brands. I mean, part of our business plan is to work with a lot of brands. So, mm -hmm. you know, but it's weird having a job. Yeah. Because people are actually calling me with deliverables. I'm like, wait a minute, what? Yeah. So, yeah, for people that don't know, I joined the Monster Products uh, team as the director of lifestyle and, inter and culture. It's a whole new de uh, department. Yeah, that's dope. I get to rebrand the whole company. That's dope. It's fun. That's, good. that's super dope. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I mean, when I got back from Italy, I was 160 pounds. I, I needed to lose some weight. So that's... Thick little cookie. I, yeah, I was thick as fuck and I didn't like it because, you know, like my joints were starting to fucking hurt, mm. you know? So it's not even like a vanity thing. It was really like this, I'm well, carrying, it's husky I'm, I'm carrying, season. for me, I was carrying too much weight for my frame, you know? And mm. that was, and I, half my closet wouldn't fit me. So I was like, okay, this is bullshit. So I've just mm. really been so on my workout grind that I'm literally not going out. I'm working out, eating right, staying home because if I go out, I'm going to drink. I'm going to drink a lot. Mm -hmm. Like I, I am a isn't functional that bad, alcoholic. Isn't that bad that this city and this business is one in which that if you leave your house, you are bound to get fucked up. That's true. Mm -hmm. Because yes. Saturday I told myself mm -hmm. I was going to stay home and, mm -hmm. and Zen. Yeah. I was going to turn off my phones. I was going to lay in bed. I was going to find a good old run of uh, golden girls. And I was just going <laughs> to lay in my house. Friend calls, mm -hmm. went to catch for brunch. Mm. And then that's the end of the story. Went to bed at 7 a.m. And mm -hmm. between that and, Everything I did in my car and spent a lot of money. Mm. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I just, mm. I've been, literally friends have been calling me, hitting me up, trying to get me to go out. And I'm like, I can't. Because if I go out, I'm going to devour about two bottles of vodka. And Damn. then that's just going to destroy 
all my effort. And you I, ain't working out the next day. Mm-hmm. Not only am I not working out the next day, I will have ruined what I already did. And I'm in the gym with, you know, my boxing trainer, Hollywood Hino. And that shit's not fun. That I mean, he's funny, but I'm in physical pain in there. <laughs> Sweating. I'm nasty. I hate life. Mm, sound, you know? like, sound like a good old sex session. Fuck, I don't know. I'm not getting much Well, you of that. look great. Thank you. I could tell you, you, you I've, shedding. I've, I've lost weight. I was going to say, you shedding. Damn, uh, you, you, you respond working out easy. Because I because when I go, I go hard. I go hard. Pause. Yeah. If I get one more email mm. to Hollywood Unlocked asking me where you are and what happened, mm. they're like, is she on a sabbatical? Did she go missing? <laughs> is she still there? I'm like, I know because I can't I've, take any time off. I've, well, I mean, I've also been kind of invisible on my, you know, right. um, social media platform. So too. the twerking videos are done. Listen, you I had was, a twerk I video up? I, I never twerked. Well, you jumped up and down. I was just jumping up and down. And down in the pool. But you that got a it. lot moving around. So. I know. No, I mean, you know, it, um, my mom got sick, as you know, as I said, you know, last show, you know, she had a heart attack. And I just didn't feel like documenting my life at that time, right. you know, and I've just kind of been, you know, kind of struggling with what's been going on in the world, you know. I mean, I feel like, you know, we're all connected. And there's so much suffering it's just in this country alone that I don't know. I just I just felt like posting on social media was like just I don't know superficial. Mm. I just haven't been in that mindset. So people are like, "Where the fuck is she?" Mm. I'm here. I'm here. Thank well, you for well, your concern. Welcome, welcome back. back. We're glad Thank you're here, you. Giovanni. What have you been doing? <gasps> oh shoot, you know me, just working on these scripts. I, like today, I start filming the first day of uh, this pilot with Michael Blackston, and. Uh, and better news, you know, me and my baby working that thing out. Okay, because people on the um, on the YouTube were saying, on our feed, were saying, damn, it looks like the relationship's all the way over. So is it back? Are you back in the house? You know what? Yeah, uh, t- last night was my first night. Yay! Oh, you nice. look like you got some sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> last night was my first Instead night. Instead of sleeping on park but benches I will and say, shit. I will say pretty much. I mm. will say uh, she's, it's still a lot of healing because we had a long talk. And it was just even us. It was a lot of stuff that she never dealt with growing up, you know, but I know as a man, what I'm going to do is just make her, she's remind her why she fell in love with me. So did, did you guys have sex last night? No, it was like, I got home like four in the morning. Okay. She was asleep, but I'm definitely the taking- The fuck does yeah. getting home at four in the morning have to do because with she, dicking her down? Be, mentally is just, it's still, she's very fragile, very fragile. Mm-hmm. So right now sex is not even, I'm trying to rebuild and get that back. So, you know, tomorrow I'm gonna take her to this nice little dinner. You know, Halloween horror nights. You know, I'm just, I'm just got to make her. I'm about to. One thing, plus, I would tell you this: whatever you did to get your girl, you have to do it to keep her. Keep doing that shit. Yes, you have to keep dating your girlfriend yes, and I'm your wife. Yes, I'm about to. I'm about to make her fall back in love with me like she used to be. Aww. Aww. I wish I could say that about my ex, but he's in jail. So. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be any you. of that. You're Let mentally me checked you. out of that. Any? Are you? I don't know. <gasps> I don't know. You're thinking about him. Oh, my ex. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, my ex is still my best friend. I mean, you know. Would you, if he got out, would you get back? I don't know, because fundamentally, I don't believe in going backwards. I feel like the biggest mistakes that people make in work, in school, or what, I mean, not even school. Like, for example, Mm. I have everything I have on a GED. I ain't got no fucking degree. I ain't got no debt. I ain't got no headaches. Mm -hmm. I got a GED because niggas made me sick, and I went and got the money. Mm Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I don't believe in going back. Like, do you go? How do you go back to a relationship that you close? That you close? That you ended? If I mean, it's not, if the door is not closed, you know, if there's still like, you know, feelings. I was in love with somebody for a really long time, and uh, I I went back more than once. And what happened? Oh well, you know, he's married now. <laughs> right, not Some to you, bitch. but not to, right. So my point is that when you no, w- because I finally, you know, got the memo. Like it finally. But but your choice yeah. to not get it the first time that was your choice, right? She's so like we ended our relationship in a very amicable way, like a business transaction. Yeah. I told you, I don't know if I told you, but we, I, I was laying in bed one day and I said, and something just came over me. I said, "Are you in love with me?" Mm-hmm. And he said, "No." Mm. But were but, you I in mean, love with him? No, yes, but um, we, we loved each other. We had a great relationship and we yeah. made a lot of money. We had a great apartment. We had great cars. We traveled. We everything. We had money. Everything was cool. But I had got to a point where I said, I want to be in love. Mm-hmm. So I said, are you in love with me? He said, no. And it was honest. So mm-hmm. I so in that, it was mixed emotions, right? There was like, damn, because yeah. now I got to make a move. Yeah. And then there was, damn, I respect you for being honest and yeah. not wasting my time. Yeah. So then I left I and I and I said to myself, I'm going to give 30 days. And mm-hmm. if 30 days I don't feel some change, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm out. And right. so 30 days went on. 
he went to Vegas to work uh, on an on an event mm-hmm. and then for a week and then when I got to town I got in the car and was like no conversation no mm-hmm. it was like they were too consumed with what they were doing so I just said to myself okay this is it so when I came home after that I said if me and you had a business together mm-hmm. and we put blood sweat tears we invested everything we got mm-hmm. and we felt like the business was going to go bankrupt and we mm-hmm. weren't going to get a return on our investment mm-hmm. what would you do what would what, what, what should we do mm-hmm. he said oh shit because we had two businesses at the yeah. time he said shit we would end the business because we're both going to lose everything yeah. And it clicked what I was asking him. And yeah. he looked at me and he said, no, 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 no. I said, no, no. So let's, let's, we literally drew out a plan. Okay. When are we moving out this house? What do you need when you move out? How are we terminating the business? How are we letting the employees know? We did all that and then we left. Wow. Damn. Then I went straight to TV and Hollywood Unlocked and Money Team and everything greatness else. Greatness comes from heartbreak, man. So huh? Greatness comes from heartbreak. A lot well, of I think it was more about like how I was going to invest my time. I think one of the challenges too in relationships is, you know, uh, when I have somebody spend the night, I don't want to get out of bed. Yeah. But when you ain't got nobody there, yo ass get the fuck up. Fifty mm. percent mm. of the time. Shit. That's I will say this shit. After seeing her last night, she lost a lot of weight. Who your girl. girl? In eight three weeks, she had lost like she like like nine pounds. Nice. Went to fridge, fucking stock with meal press. I'm like, oh, you trying to get better? Yeah, that's the, no, that's the only upside to like breakups. You trying to get better for this? No, is the weight loss. Yeah, the depression weight loss. Good, Mm, yeah, good. Yeah, I got emaciated after a couple of breakups. Shout out to everybody out there saying this show sounds depressing. (laughs) (laughs) Now, on the other hand, Jason, what did you do? Uh, What did I do this week? I've just, uh, you know, this new monster relationship is a lot of work, Mm -hmm. and so I've been. uh, I went up to San Francisco. I came back. I party with friends. I ended up just hanging out this weekend and just chilling. Mm. I had a good time. Somebody hit, fucked up my car. I got a big ass dent. Mm. Mm. But it's cool because I just said to the universe, I want a new car. There you mm-hmm. go. So There you go. Mm-hmm. What are you going to get? I think I'm going to get another Mercedes. Yeah. You want to go back to Mercedes? Yeah, but I want the S class. I want the big body. Yeah. I like the Maybach. No, no, the S550. The one that's beneath the Maybach. The yes. S550. Yes. Yeah, I love that car. I used to have one. I really loved it. It's the only Mercedes I liked. Mm. Yeah. So I, okay. I concur because then we can swap. Like you said. Yeah. You, you can, can drive my Wrangler and then I'll drive the Mercedes. Yeah. You don't have well, anything you, to trade you in Uber, this conversation. So we don't want to exactly. trade with you. Okay. All right. There's a lot in the news this week and I am not going to kick it off because I'm tired of being attacked as the number one hater on the show. Let me start by saying that <laughs> I love everybody in the entertainment world. Mm-hmm. I am fans of what's hot. I am a critic of what's not, and I'm going to say what the fuck I think, Mm -hmm. but I'm going to let you take it over. Okay. Well, uh, there's been a lot going on um, under the subject line of sexual assault and harassment. Um, First up is Nelly. Um, There was a report that came out that a woman uh, is accusing him of raping her while on his tour bus. So he was arrested before he was to perform um, on Saturday in Ridgefield, Washington. Um, so the base, so the girl basically said she was invited with her friends at a club to come join him at his table. You know, they got there, they started drinking, she got drunk, invited to an after party. Oh, the after party was on the tour bus. She gets to the tour bus and she's apparently, you know, the only one on it. And, you know, she goes to the back with Nelly. He forces her, allegedly forces her to have sex. Um, tells her to shut up and has sex with her, um, unprotected sex. Then kicks her out and throws a $100 bill. Well, apparently a girl, part of Nellie's crew, um, told her she's got to go, kicked her off the bus and threw $100 at her. Um, Nellie's lawyer is basically saying that this is completely fabricated and lies and it, you know, quote unquote, comes out of the playbook as, you know, rule 101 of how to extort you know, a celebrity out of money. Um, and T.I. and Akon have come to his defense and basically said that they do not believe that this is true. I don't believe it either. I really don't. I, Why I, don't you believe it? I don't personally know Nelly. I'm really good friends with his daughter, Nell. Mm-hmm. And it just sounds like, to me, like you fucked him willingly. And maybe something happened where you didn't like it and now you want to turn into this fabricated reps, rape story. Like... I, I, like I said, I don't know him personally, but I don't see, I can't see him doing that, forcing a girl in the room and having unprotected sex with her. First of all, I want to see what the chick look like. That's what I want to see. Mm. You're what, that's a slippery slope, but you that motherfucker. You are sliding on your own on that one. Mm-hmm. I want to see what she look like. Why? I, because if she's hot, that depending on how hot she is, that means that, you know, it's true or not. If she's ugly, then what? 
No, if no. she's not if she's not that attractive, then what? First, uh, then that means she's totally making it up. Probably, I'm just probably. I'm just gonna sit over here and sip. Probably, this absolutely. Nigga about to get lit. No, up. not because look at the shit that's going on with Usher and this big chick. Like, do you really believe? He's but have you seen? That? But have you what, seen? Can the, you please but, let him hang himself? No, let I'm not go. hanging myself. I was gonna like, say, but have you seen the other girl who's you know who's accusing Usher of giving her no, herpes? I haven't seen her either. Okay, well, let's just say that her and Quantasia or whatever the other girl's name is. Mm. I'm sorry, I really don't know. They don't look anything alike, and um, that's me trying to. So what do you okay. what do you think of it all? Before I give my opinion, well, I know Nelly personally, so that would that's where I'm gonna start and. You know, I'm I'm supposed to be a friend to women, and I would never condone anybody sexually assaulting a woman, harassing a woman, or whatever the case is. But his lawyer's right. This does sound like you know the claim that a girl would make who wants public attention. I don't know, but what I do know of Nelly, I couldn't see him doing something like this. But I wasn't there. I just couldn't see him forcing a girl to have sex unprotected like that's just a really strange detail forced me to have unprotected sex Wh so you can get pregnant mm. he's got he's practically engaged to miss jackson how the fuck is he gonna explain that like that's the part that just doesn't make any sense to me you know what i mean so my opinion and everybody's gonna say oh i know what jason's gonna say because of his friendship and blah 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 mm -hmm. let me say i haven't said anything publicly but i'm gonna just since it's on our list of hot topics it's, mm -hmm. it's right here yes. i'm just gonna weigh in it's here so when I got molested, the worst feeling in the world was to tell my mom and her look at me and say, you lying. Mm -hmm. Automatically outright rejecting that it could happen because mm -hmm. I was sharp. I was quick. I was a badass kid. Mm -hmm. I was never, ever. I was like, I was mature for my age and I was seven years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. Walk around, had the key, did whatever I needed to do. I was, I was pretty grown at seven. Mm -hmm. So it was the worst feeling. So. I've been trying to, since we've interviewed Amber and gone to Slut Walk, I've been trying to think about these scenarios from a woman's point of view before mm -hmm. just outright. Because I can tell you when the Kevin Hart thing happened with this girl who did, you know, who who becomes a victim of sexual assault or um, rape or whatever and then goes and does a press conference, mm -hmm. right? This is in my mind, right? But I'm mm -hmm. trying to remember, one, I live in Hollywood. Two, mm -hmm. these are celebrities. Three, you know, women choosing their own platforms for whatever reason, whether it's mm -hmm. to get su uh, super popular or it's to get money or whatever, mm -hmm. or to clear their name. So when I called Amber about the Kevin Hart thing, she said, why are you so fast to attack her and discredit her when Kevin Hart did that to his last wife? Mm -hmm. And he's the common thread in all of this and he has a commitment to his wife. Why mm -hmm. not look at it at that point of view? Mm -hmm. So when I think about this, Quantasia, when she came out and said that Usher uh, gave her herpes mm -hmm. or tried to give her herpes, mm -hmm. We all rejected her based on how she looked. I looked at her and said, her fat ass looked like an airline. Quantasia sound like an airline, looked like an airline. <laughs> well, Usher didn't lay on top of that. And if he did put his thing in that, he should have gave her herpes. And he should, he should go to jail and they should all just get the fuck okay. out. Okay. Oh, you, you get the point. <laughs> yes. Okay. But then when I interviewed Lisa Bloom this past weekend at the Slut Walk, I asked her, I said, do you really believe in that? Mm. And she was like, I vetted this case and would not have taken it if it wasn't a real, if there wasn't evidence there. Why was he at the room? So let's say... Usher went there to have consensual sex with her. It wasn't sexual assault. Why are you at the Days Inn? Why are you at this hotel? Why mm. are you there? You're mm. Usher. You don't have no business being there because you still got good old Grace sitting at the house. Mm. So when I look at the whole Nelly thing, you probably had bitches on your tour bus. Mm -hmm. Just because he with Miss Jackson don't mean he's faithful. He oh. probably had some bitches. Listen, let me tell you that I, exactly. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that he was faithful. I'm not saying shit. Mm. He's a fucking rap, uh, you know rock star, rap star on fucking tour. It goes down. So I've had a friend had sex that had sex with Nelly, yes. and she said that it felt like rape. But has your friend been raped before? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. So my point is, does that mean that it was exuberant sex? So that it saying. was really aggressive mm -hmm. sex? I'm not in a position to, nor would I ever play around or throw the rape thing around mm -hmm. for the sake of people wanting to watch our show. Right. I don't know that Nelly raped her. Right. Because I wasn't there. You weren't there. You weren't there. Yes. But I think you to just discredit her right away because you don't think Nelly would do it. We don't know him like that. You know him probably better than we do. Well, he didn't discredit her. He just wants to see the girl because depending upon our looks is depending on whether or not she's a well, liar. That's, a, that's some old other he, that, He's super fucked up <laughs> yeah, for that. That's what? Fucked up. My, super my fucked way up I feel. for that. Because women that get raped don't have a look. That's true. I know. But I'm and just people, talking about in the and, regards and, of Nelly and Usher. No, but like... You have to understand something. I know. You know so, what that's, we know a lot of celebrities. You yeah. know a lot of celebrity mm -hmm. men. 
Do you know how many they just men just like to fuck, period. They don't always think they have to be a 10. Yeah, exactly. It's called low hanging fruit. I know. When it's super easy and attainable and you don't have to do a lot of work. It's called low fucking oh, hanging I, I, That was always my go-to before my girl. I used to always go for them. Clearly. Them now, the funny thing, though, is that T.I. has come out and supported him. Mm-hmm. He got marriage issues. Mm. Kevin Hart going through all his drama with his girl. He got. They Remember, they all sat around and attacked our sponsor of our show. I ain't going to say the name because mm-hmm. I don't want to get attacked. Mm-hmm. It's really interesting to watch what's happening because I really feel like you put out bad energy, bad energy okay. comes back. Well, in this particular situation, like T.I. said, Let's say she is lying and it's proven that he's he hasn't done this. What happens to her? Now what, what happens to the girl? Well, this is what I told somebody the other day. Whether R- Nelly raped this girl or not, the fact that we're saying Nelly and rape in the same, same sense, it's going to stick with him for a while. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just the fact of the matter. But when it's it's, it's, it's going to be something that's Googleable for forever. And when you're a celebrity, you should be careful. You're careful about the men you date. Mm-hmm. People who are public figures are careful. That for the most part, should be careful about the people that they date. And if you got a girl, you shouldn't have no bitches on your bus. Precisely. What if, what if they be taking girls down together? Okay, listen, but she wasn't there. Now we're making a bunch of listen, excuses. At the, end of the, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if she is saying that he that she that he raped her and it was unprotected sex i want to see a rape kit i want to hear about that because and, if it's unprotected then there's going to be evidence and so what i'm saying is so she didn't come out with that i've been following this right mm-hmm. she didn't come out with that fact first mm-hmm. when she started getting doubted about being raped mm-hmm. then she released a statement that said she she that he did not use a condom that could be her alluding to she has dna that could be her alluding to there mm-hmm. may be some um some uh, proof. So mm-hmm. we don't know yet. We have to wait and see. But I will tell you, if he is found guilty of rape, you know what I'm waiting to see? What? What's Miss Jackson going to do now? Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus. What's she going to do? Because Nelly, <laughs> you know, when Jackson. Nelly got mad at me for saying what I said about him mm-hmm. on this show, I just said it as a lighthearted joke. Mm-hmm. Do you think that Nelly deserves a refund for the work that was put into Miss Jackson? That mm-hmm. was a joke. Mm-hmm. Lighthearted joke. I don't hate these people. I was actually no. A, meaning, do you, do you think that Floyd deserves a refund? For I'm the, not saying the name today. Okay, I'm not I, I said it. Okay, <laughs> but my point is that it was a lighthearted joke. I mm-hmm. was a fan of Nelly's, and I've always thought that Miss Jackson was beautiful. Mm-hmm. And I, in fact, when I first met her, before I knew who she was, I told her she was beautiful. She just had a stanky ass attitude. Mm. But now, where you at? Sitting up with your attitude, and your man is on trial for rape. Wow. Well. Yeah. Well, he ain't on trial yet, but shit, right. he's about oh, to be. Well, Good it's just the public, the, you know, it's public opinion now. Well, I'm you know? going to every the, court the court, day. Of, the court of public opinion. What? I'm going to every court day. Where? Isn't it happening in the state of Washington? I've got flyer miles. I'm going to the court day. You're hilarious. And I'm going to sit up in there. <laughs> You know, be up there in your, be up in there with your press pass as a reporter. <laughs> you fucking asshole. But anyway, yeah. no. All jokes aside, hopefully they work this out because Please. it's really not a good look. No, it's ugly. It's it's really really ugly. And you know, I mean, we'll just we'll have to see how this plays out. Um, another person in the news um, is even bigger than Nelly. You know, you know, arguably Harvey Weinstein. Now, wow. yeah. So Harvey Weinstein is this major, major Hollywood heavyweight, you know, producer, film distributor extraordinaire. Um, He was with Miramax first. Now he's with the Weinstein Company. Um, and well, he's not anymore. Well, okay, well, I'm getting to that. So the New York Times, their investigative department, put out this expose that basically said that he's been a serial predator. Um for the last 30 years in the business. Um, And so women are just coming out of the woodwork, um, accusing him, you know, of sexually harassing or, you know, basically raping them. Um, So the casting couch, you know, it it really is alive and well. And he was one of the, you know, biggest offenders of that kind of thing. Not only that, there was, there's supposedly a lot of, you know, men in Hollywood who actually helped to hide these, you know, these persistent rumors because of what he did for their careers. Like and men, he settled several cases. Too. He settled, yeah, exactly. He settled several cases, you know. So the latest people to um, to come out uh, are Gwyneth Paltrow and Angelina Jolie. Like, it's big. Like, everybody's talking about yeah. it to the point where he's been ousted from the company he started. Mm. Like, the, can you imagine being ousted by your board of Hollywood Unlocked? Some, like, fuck Empire you, Jason shit. Lee. Yeah, we're well, firing you. Well, the way I've stacked my percentages, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> but I will say that, you know what? 
I always, I do, I, you know what's so crazy is I'm not even on the level of a Harvey Feinstein. Weinstein. 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 Um, and I've actually been to their parties. It's fabulous. This yeah. is like, you're talking about like the cream of the crop of the industry. Not the yeah. shit we be going to like with BET and VH1. Yeah. I'm talking about like some real like you Spider-Man type shit. When yeah. you walk in and fucking there's an angel flying around the room. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They got real money. Mm -hmm. But you know what's so crazy is I always think, how are they going to try to take me down? I know it's going to happen at some point, right? <laughs> See, with me, it's going to be... Because they know I like young boys, 23, 24, 25. Mm -hmm, they're mm -hmm. going to say he's a child molester. That's going to happen. At some point, that's going to th throw it out there. Mm -hmm. Then they're going to say, uh, or if it's a straight guy, to discredit you, he's gay or he's a, uh, what do you call it, a scammer or whatever. You know, it's like they always mm -hmm. try to throw the things that make everybody go, can't fuck with him. Mm -hmm. With Harvey Weinstein, what's so crazy is that if all of Hollywood knew about this before, why is the hit happening right now? Um, Probably fuck somebody over. Not no. to mention Donna Carrington came out the dead, and now she's she's out there saying that she don't believe it's true, and that this girl, the way girls dress nowadays, maybe she asked for it. Yeah, mm. she she says her comments were taken out of context, so she's you know on the apology tour right now, um, like somebody else that we're going to talk about in a little bit. Um, but the reason why it's happening now, as is, a woman, you don't have an opinion about that, the dressing and stuff. I, I would have to hear exactly like, you know, the full context of what she said so I could see. Even any woman that says, look at how women dress these days and they may they may be asking for it. That is just crazy to so me. I, that's very crazy. I didn't hear that that's what she'd said. I only heard the latter part of it. What like she something said was a cleaned up white version of what he said about the girl and he has to see what she looks no like. No woman should ever say that another woman is asking to be sexually assaulted or harassed in any way, shape or form based on how she's dressed. No woman should ever that. fucking say that that's that's how i feel about that the reason why i think all this is happening right now is because he's not the power player that he once was like he used to control a huge portion of hollywood and started the careers of so many a-listers that we can think of like ben affleck and um and and matt damon uh goodwill hunting mm -hmm. you know he's responsible for distributing all of tarantino's films so just the fact that the business has changed overall just in terms of streaming and just different ways to get your movies out there mm -hmm. there's He's he no longer is the power player that he once was. People were afraid of of speaking up because how do you go against Harvey Weinstein when put, you're a fledgling actress? Put him back they in his job. They will bury you. Put him back in his job immediately. What? Put him back in his job yeah. immediately. He about? deserves his Give job his back, back right now. What are you talking about? Harvey Weinstein. Why? Who's been kicked out of his company? Weinstein yeah. company deserves to go back to his job. Why? Because our fucking president says grab him by the pussy and he runs the fucking country. Mm. Oh, but that's the other thing. That's Wait, but my question is, why the fuck can you control the nuclear codes to destroy countries and destroy everybody else, destroy our fucking economy, destroy our climate and do everything? And you a sexual predator, but a nigga can't run his fucking movie company. This world is fucked up. All That's, these celebrities yeah. out there trying to take him out can suck a dick. Angelina Jolie, you ain't nothing but going around <laughs> getting all these goddamn black and brown fucking kids from all these goddamn countries anyway. Bitch, go, get your ovaries checked. Get those things together. Get your own kids. But you out trying to rape every culture you can to show your assortment of cabbage patch babies and the nigga that loved you, that left his bitch, you putting him on blast too. I fuck actually think all. she had a hysterectomy. Listen, fuck Trump. Cabbage patch babies. Fuck Trump. <laughs> Give Harvey Weinstein back his job. And where is Billy Bush? Oh God! See, that mad. was so random. You are all, Jason. Random. You're all over the place. What I'm saying. The majority no. of the come. The majority of the country wants Hold Trump on. out of fucking I'm office. I'm not all over the place. Let me land the plane. Uh, land it. You can't. I watched the news today, and there's this big celebration of how they're holding Harvey Weinstein accountable for all these allegations. Mm -hmm. We ain't got no video. We don't got no audio, but we all believe it happened because why would all these women come out and say it? They said the same thing about the nigga trying to buy NBC, Bill Cosby. Mm -hmm. All of what he did for our black community is being the mm -hmm. idol for black family. Mm -hmm. We destroyed all of that because mm -hmm. white people and media said that it was true. And all these white women came and said it was true. And all of a sudden it was true. So Bill Cosby and everything he meant to us went away. They even took his shit off of television. Mm -hmm. This nigga sitting up in the White House. He ain't even started programs for autism. He got that autistic, autistic ass little kid. I got an <laughs> autistic nephew. I'm just saying, right? Things mm -hmm. that matter. Focus on mm -hmm. shit that matters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your wife is a fucking immigrant, and you out here telling immigrants, no disrespect, Alyssa, we want you to stay. <laughs> but you telling all these fucking I'm an immigrants. I'm immigrant too. Well, you stay too. Okay. But all these other <laughs> fucking you. immigrants can't come in our country. <laughs> mm hmm. I'm confused. We live in the fucking twilight zone. That's crazy because I have. <sighs> 
Well, Billy, we do. Billy Bush cannot get a job in television. Harvey Weinstein got kicked out by his own family out of his own company. Mm -hmm. And this orange piece of shit son of a bitch is running the fucking world. But it's not allegations when you've settled out of court and you've settled several lawsuits basically saying... Where's my settlement with Trump? <laughs> Did you know that there is a billboard that is running the footage of him and Billy Bush, the conversation, playing 24 hours a day outside of the White House? It's no. my money and I need it now. There, really? Is, really? <laughs> there is billboards going up saying impeach with his picture. I mean, the, the only person really saying impeach him is uh, is a uh, senator. What's her name that I saw in the airport? Uh, Maxine Watts. That's the only Waters, one yeah. that's thuggish enough. Maybe she's from Watts, and that's why she's doing it. But she's the only one really saying it. This old no. Senator Bob Corker uh, basically said, you know, uh, the White House is being run like a daycare center, and somebody must have missed their shift. He said that over mm. the weekend. We have to. They were going at it. We have to rewrite how we control our government because this right here. I'm just telling you, like I sit up I, every single day. I start my day at 7 a.m. watching mm -hmm. Good Morning America because mm -hmm. that's the nice way of how we're getting fucked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I end my night by watching Channel 37, CNN, mm -hmm. to hear the, the the liberal way of how we're getting fucked. Mm -hmm. And then I just just the whole day. I'm just wondering, like, when is somebody gonna be able to take control of this out of control ass shit? Yeah. If we go to war with North Korea, we're dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've seen the way he's been posing in these pictures, squatting down. Yeah. Niggas a G. He Who? ready. Uh, what's his name? Kim, Kim, Kim Jong Young. Yeah. Kim Jong Young. Well, I don't know. Well, I just went off, I know I took us off track, but my point of it all was mm -hmm. he got outed from his company. Mm -hmm. Billy Bush is unemployed, mm -hmm. and the person that's done similar things is running the country. Yeah. Well, we're not happy about that. We would and like we to get him out. Do anything? No, we can't do anything. And here's the thing: is even if we could, Mike Pence is no fucking better. That I can't. I can't. Well, speaking of Mike Pence, you know, yeah. he went to the game and uh, he left because, well, Trump must have tweeted him to leave because people were kneeling. No, that was a huge fucking publicity stunt because the picture that he posted of him sitting there at the game, the game he supposedly left, mm -hmm. um, was a picture from 2000 and motherfucking 14. Did, really? Yeah. So yeah. it's not even It was real? completely fucking so fake. So it's fake news? Yes. Okay, I'm done. Yes. Let's oh, um, by the way, Trump says that he created the... He cre invented the term fake. What Not we, just fake news, fake. What if we found Everybody's using it now fake. because he said it. I'm like, so you invented the word fake? Really? What if, what if you found out Trump was sucking dick as a teen? As a what? As a teen? He'd still be in office. I, can, I mean, the way he always <laughs> making them duck lips. I wouldn't, I'm, I calling, I'm calling Lisa Bloom. I'm going to do a press conference that Trump fucked me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, back in the news is Jameel Hill. I really like Jameel Hill. So she's an anchor uh, for SportsCenter. Um, and she's apparently uh, violated the terms of her contract as it relates to using her social media campaign to call for a boycott um, of the Dallas Cowboys, which she actually did not do. But this all relates to Jerry Jones basically saying that all players on his team will face a fine um, and punishment if they do not stand for the national anthem. I'm like, hold on one second here. Weren't you just kneeling with 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 these motherfuckers like a mm. week ago or two weeks ago? Yeah, but there's sometimes I like forget it's such I was bullshit. on. Sometimes I forgot I was on my knees too, so I get it. Oh, you God. know what? <laughs> Moving right fucking along. So they've su suspended her for two weeks, which um, isn't bad. It's not a bad punishment, but well, th no, this is in response to no. This also has to do with the fact that she called Trump a white supremacist and basically said that his entire administration is full of them. That that's just what's in the White House, mm -hmm. and it's just like, um, the truth. yeah, you're kind of telling right. the truth. So she's being penalized for exercising, as far as I'm concerned, her First Amendment, you know, right. So do you, yeah. do, so do you think what you do on social media should get you in trouble at work? Like, should it matter? Like, I if mean, you're if you're a stellar employee at work. Mm -hmm. everything is above board. Mm -hmm. You meet all your goals. Yeah. Should your boss care about what you post on your social media? Well, you know, when you, you know, just don't say, not, not just posting, just your interaction with social media. In the case of Anthony Weiner, yeah, actually it should affect you because he was sexting underage girls and now he's in jail. Um, so yeah, I think that what you post and what you do on social media should have an effect. But in the case of Jameel Hill, like, it's her, it's her job to talk about sports. And when she talked about Trump, well, she's just one of 
millions, millions of people. people talking about Trump in the way that she spoke about him. And that was in response to what he said, you know, his comments after the Charlottesville, you know, bullshit. So she was well within her rights to everyone who was calling him a white supremacist yeah. at that time. So why single her out? Probably got Which some is Trump what he's doing now. At ESPN that didn't like it. Well, I will say I recently got tagged in a post from 2013 where I was mad at little Kim mm -hmm. because I didn't understand why she was attacking uh, Nicki Minaj and why Nicki Minaj was attacking. I was mad at both. And I text, I tweeted crazy shit about both. Really? But now I've become friends with Lil' Kim. Yeah, I love and so her. They're tagging so, us. so now they've, they've discovered this tweet from 2013 and they're tagging us in it. Yeah. But here's what I say. I stand behind everything I say. I love Lil' Kim. I didn't know her when I tweeted it, mm -hmm. and I know her now. Mm -hmm. And she's a phenomenal woman. She's mm -hmm. a nice woman, and mm -hmm. she's probably the sweetest person I've ever met. Mm -hmm. But shit, I mean, if she was to get mad about it, it's some real shit. She has the right to get mad. But do I think I have should lose my job? today because of some shit i posted 2013 or 2014 or some old shit well you don't well, you're not well now you're working for you know corporate america oh no but i, but I started that job and told him oh i, I can leave any day i ain't tripping yeah yeah, yeah. so but you're yeah. but so you're freelance you're you run your own fucking company yeah. so how is that gonna affect mm -hmm. you she works for disney basically yeah. espn is owned by disney i mean so. if some of my employees were to go out and tweet like fuck my boss he's a dick <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's different. <laughs> i'm probably gonna say you know what you're right i am a dick uh, but i don't want you to be telling everybody right. right i don't know i think that i don't know i just feel like she's she's becoming a scapegoat and trump is just you know put trying to put the nail in her coffin because he's basically accused saying that the reason why ESPN's ratings are way down is because, because of what she said. Why yeah, is the because president of, of the United States worried about ESPN some ratings? Right. I know, you know, we've got like, I don't know, wildfires happening in Northern California, 15 people dead, you know, a a new, about 150 yeah. are missing. A new hurricane we've got, coming. Uh, you know, hur a new hurricane no, every and, other and, motherfucking week. And we got the Puerto Ricas. I can't. He's such a <laughs> what? How you say it? Poor, Puerto Ricos. I can't even. The people yeah. in Puerto Rico. I'm telling you right now. I'm not gonna get investigated by the CAA or the FBI. But the I will CIA? say that I will say this. I think he was high when he was. What's doing the helicopter that? that he got? I don't. I know Air Force One, but I don't know what the color. Okay, it's like a 15 called. million dollar helicopter. Though, if Air Force One takes a nosedive, I ain't gonna be crying that day. Um, <laughs> Have you? That's yeah. crazy. Like the Air Force One, the history of the presidents has never went down. I'm sure there's been some attempts, but they travel with like four F-150 I'm talking about engine jets. failure. Yeah, but it's that's crazy. All these planes go down. And Are you Air allowed Force to talk about the down. president's plane crashing <laughs> without getting in trouble? Well, I don't, we'll find out. We, if we get another call. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> you can call me at 914. What's go to rest, hell. What's the rest of your number? Melissa? No, shut the fuck up. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, but you know, that. there was when Cam Newton just lost his contract over asking that woman that question. People discover tweets of hers where she had talked about black people. Didn't she say nigger or something like that? Yeah, but she was using it in the context of the euphemism of like nigger, that like how white people think. Nah, oh, I'm nah, down, nah, I'm down, nah, so nah, I can nah, do this. Nah, 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 we're not giving you that. No, we're I not know. Giving you no, that. no, no, there, it's not a pass. But that yeah. was the context of which she, she was needs, using it. She, she wasn't using it, you know, as like a fucking redneck needs, bumpkin. She needs to lose waving, her job. Waving the Confederate flag. I was out with my homeboys. Like, I agree. The, like a week ago, and this white girl came up, and my boy was talking. It was like. uh What's wrong with you? She was like, man, my boyfriend. She was like, what's wrong? She was like, she was like niggas ain't shit. I said, <laughs> I, niggas ain't shit, but damn. You, just, <laughs> you, just, you feel so comfortable to say it? And this was like a white girl. Mm -hmm. Well, she's dating black men. Of course, she feels comfortable to say it. I know, a t I know quite a few white uh, girls that have that date nothing but black guys, and they totally think okay. they've got they've got the pass to say it. I'm like, and this is what they do. Like, uh, 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 and this uh, is what they exactly. Do. It's they for the man to check them. They call up their friend Becky. This nigga's taking me to see his mom. Now I'm gonna tell you, you say that shit around the wrong motherfucker. <laughs> but see, I've that's seen it where, happen. But that's where again, pe black people gotta be. You gotta choose one side of the fence. Stop hanging with your white people and calling my nigga this my nigga that's my nigga. But then when he uses it, then everybody want to be. No, like, no I say stop to that. my white friend. I said this is my buddy. That's mm -hmm. what I say. You know? Well, I try not to say it as much. I just call everybody a bitch. <laughs> right, <laughs> bitch. that part. Okay. Well, in other news, speaking of boycotts, um, Dove is facing some major backlash over an ad that they posted, um, where it was a black woman who takes off her shirt and miraculously She's she is woman. a white blonde woman. I didn't really get the... But there was more really, than that screenshot. Yeah. I think people overreacted. I didn't really think it was... I didn't see what was wrong with the damn ad. 
I we, we live that bitch well a here's few the, no no but here's the other thing is that dove had posted an ad like a few years ago where it was a like a microscopic close-up of skin dry skin and then moisturized skin and the dry skin they had the black woman standing in front of it and then in the middle was you know a butter pecan looking kind of chick and then the white woman who was standing in front of the moisturized skin and i was like first of all you got it motherfucking backwards okay because that be fucking yeah, up exactly this this, this and, is constantly and I, and moisturized you got damn right looking exactly like so they got it fucking backwards so they just seem to keep you know, putting their proverbial foot in their fucking mouth. And it's not seeming like an accident anymore. It's like, okay, Dove, uh, you were already on the chopping block one time. What the fuck? So I went to the I went to uh, CVS today to get some soap and they have some amazing Dove, Dove shea butter not, yeah. uh, uh, soap and mm. I bought it. And you know what I said when I went to the white boy at the cash register to ring it up? <laughs> Nigga, ring it up. <laughs> <laughs> And I went up there and my little Latina maids was cleaning my house. And I was like, get up out of here, Louisa. I got to get it together. <laughs> and I'm here with my black folks. And Who is over good. there branding and marketing strategies, Jason? You might have to go over there and help them hey, out. Hey, Dove, I'm available. And, you know, I asked Monster, have y'all ever seen our radio show? And they were like, yeah, we've seen it. I'm like, mm, okay, well, then <laughs> I can still be uncensored. Mm -hmm. You know, I already told Monster, look, I'm going to come and make your shit hot. But I can't be controlled. Right. Because mm. I just got a job to do. Yeah. Amen. Well, I've never been, you know, a fan of uh, Dove products. Not for any not yeah. for any other reason mm. other than I just find better shit Dove. to use. Um, their deodorant, you will no, be- No, but that shea butter soap, I'm telling you, smell me at the break. I'm telling you, shit's <laughs> lit. No. It's really good, for real. No, I just got some expensive perfume bought for me. All right, what else? I is, like it. What else is going I on? I like it. Um, so uh, Tyrese has been kind of going <sighs> back and <laughs> back and forth. I want to do my Tyrese impression so bad. I want like when I hear his name. What? What do you want to do? I feel annoyed in my spirit. Right. Because me he's, too. he's too emotional on social media. Oh, Tyrese. My. Tyrese got a Benihan in his backyard. He got a Starbucks in his backyard. He got Voltron shit everywhere. He got a pool. And he's a, an asshole. Yeah. Okay, well, for anybody who's been living under a rock and doesn't know what's going on, um, Tyrese and The Rock have been going back and forth. Well, no, actually, it's mainly just been Tyrese fucking lobbing, you know, hits at The Rock, insinuating that him, you know, his character Hobbs from Fast and Furious, mm -hmm. you know, getting the spinoff mm -hmm. is um, uh, basically putting production for the next uh, Fast and Furious movie on pause. Mm -hmm. And he's, you know, basically been cursing. Because he needs that check. He's been cursing him out, ba lightweight on social media and basically saying, you're not a real brother, you're not family and this, that, the other. And The Rock just kind of got fucking sick of him and, you know, handed him his candy ass. <laughs> In the diplomatic way, one. in the diplomatic way that The Rock knows how to do. So then I guess because Tyrese was getting so much, you know, criticism for, you know, being. He uh, being his feelings. Being a, they, you know, his the hashtag cry Reese. That's what they're calling cry him now. Cry Reese. Reese. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hilarious. So he posts this picture of him on a Forbes magazine cover, but it it's is it's photoshopped and he hashtagged it oh. mock up like. Well, listen, I will take my Wait, statement back. What? Tyrese doesn't need the check. I just think he want, loves okay, doing that so, job. Okay, uh, so, yeah, hashtag mock up Forbes cover, hashtag vision board, hashtag empire builder, hashtag activist, hashtag voice for the unspoken. <laughs> hashtag, fast, nigga, hashtag too many hashtags. Hashtag fan hashtag. made. <laughs> Everybody went to town. Little Duval led the fucking charge yeah. of put of creating covers for themselves. I forgot what he so. said. Okay, but can I just say that? Okay, first of all, Tyrese is a phenomenal singer. Yes, yes he, is. he is. That album, Shame, that song, Shame, when him I and Patti LaBelle was dancing in her kitchen, that shit, I played it probably a thousand times. Mm -hmm. I also have been invited to his house and had to pay $100 to go inside. But mm -hmm. so whatever I mean, if you ain't going to be on Forbes if you charge the niggas $100 to get in your backyard boogie. Mm. <laughs> okay, now I talked to Bow Wow. <laughs> side note on the phone the other day. You know mm. he's coming up with a show called the Bow Wow Challenge. Uh, I don't no, know if I I'm did not. I'm supposed to be saying that, but well, that's all he right. said he's coming on our show, so we could talk to him more about it when he comes. Okay. But back to Tyrese. Mm -hmm. Would you date Tyrese? He's married. <laughs> he's married. Safe word. Speaking of Terrence J, safe that. word. What the fuck? Yeah. I, I never. I never knew he you was didn't see. 
When you he got the, the whole pl- backlash for uh, shaming dark skinned women and their hair. No, no, hair. shaming just women in women. general for like having Amber any. Amber Rose put them on blast. Yeah, having anything done. Weaves, contacts, plastic surgery, anything. So and, so and, you know, Amber Rose was silent on the Nelly rape thing. Hmm. Mother needs to sound off on that. You can't be selective when we stand up for anti rape culture. Just thought I would throw that out. No, yeah, I didn't know, well, I didn't and know. yeah, and considering Lisa Bloom was at the, um, you know, the the so, slut walk, they are they're friends. So, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, I'm sure she knows mm-hmm. a little something. No, something. I didn't know Tyrese was married. Yeah. So anyway, the Tyrese thing. So are we? So now the the challenge is the I'm lame like Tyrese challenge. So what does that mean? Do we put what is it? What are no, they that's, doing? No, that's just a hashtag. Is oh. I'm lame like Tyrese. Oh, um, shit. But what everybody's doing is they're creating <laughs> mock ups of themselves on the covers of magazines. So Little Duval led the challenge. So he's posted a picture of himself on as a with a mock-up of him on the cover of GQ. And he's standing there looking, I guess, like a G. And then you see this woman's naked ass, you know, poked out behind him. Wait, so mm-hmm. Tank is in the middle of all this? No, so Tank basically <laughs> said that he would, you know, love to be a part of, of the Hobbs, Hobbs spin-off, spin-off movie. <laughs> And Tyrese Rock, didn't like the that. Rock tweeted back to, to and the talk. Rock tweeted back to him, and so yeah. So so is Tyrese and Genuine are they out the group again? Because I'm sure Tyrese is on the full downward slope uh, rant. Well, TGT come out with an album every six years, so I don't, no, that's not yeah. True. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that TGT is on at the moment. Mm, yeah, okay. I don't think that they're on. At well, the listen, moment. Tyrese, I would just like to say a couple things. One, be good to all women. Two. Just stay in your lane and leave the rock alone because he is the highest, richest paid athlete. I mean, actor, highest, richest paid star. actor mm-hmm. of last year, according to the Forbes magazine he was in. Yeah. And three, just keep working, bro. You're going to get there. Yeah. And, you know? I, and I would You're like to there. say, Tyree, stop going on your Instagram with all these deep spiritual love, humility stuff and not be humble. Because every time I've met you, you have been the complete worst <laughs> asshole I've ever met in my life. <laughs> Oh well, God. I won't call him an asshole, but I will say I totally agree with Gio. Gio, he is the only male celebrity that I have not had a really good experience with. Mm. And what's so crazy is he probably wouldn't even remember them. Right. Because just who he is. You know, he's cocky, arrogant. And uh, I just, I'm, he's the one person I really just stay away from. Yeah, yeah. Me too. That's unfortunate. To me, he just seems to be the last person that should be giving out advice. Why? Mm. Because he just comes off as like really like judgmental and hypocritical. So like that just doesn't line up with being super spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Well, maybe like, he just needs a hug. <laughs> he's got a wife for that. And but I'm a girlfriend and I hug the shit out of my boyfriend. I hug his ass. Yeah. Do you want to talk about your boyfriend? <laughs> no, I don't want to talk about him. I don't. No, I don't want to talk about him. Okay, really well, just like let him, him know the day is coming when we're gonna put it out. Cause all right, fine. Give us a give us a second. So give us a year at least. Give no, us, give they're us gonna a get second. literally twenty one days. <laughs> It's three weeks. Give us a fucking. Second. All right. Well, listen. This has been a great show. Yeah. I am done with hot topics. <laughs> Can we leave? Yeah. All right. Okay, we fine. out. Bye. Oh, Bye, everybody. No.